Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle, and the Dokkan official Twitter has dropped the info regarding LR Kale and Khalifla, and uh, they seem really busted. <laughs> I'm definitely pretty excited with what I'm seeing from LR Kale and Khalifla. Uh, I think they absolutely are going to be worthy of the title of Summonable LR. Uh, I am very very excited for this unit to drop. Uh, there's a couple new units. Uh, stuff is looking really, really good here. So, uh, first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the super attacks for Kale and Khalifla. Uh, I, these super attacks, man, like, like they just get better and better. Like, look at this. This is like, <laughs> number one, it's really long, which I'm fine with, but like all the like close-ups, like it, it just makes these super attacks look so good. Like, I, I, I don't know. There, there's a big jump in quality. Like, Dokkan is continuing to improve. Uh, you know, the LR Super Saiyan 4 animations might have been a bit, you know, uh, underwhelming. But, you know, that's it. Like, look at this. You know, and here we go. It is indeed... Uh, if you guys remember when Team Dokkan are first dropped the info about LR Kale and Khalifa, he used the gif of that episode when they did do that, you know, people were calling it like the candy bean, you know, Kamehameha and stuff like that. Uh, that is indeed their 18 key super attack. So, uh, we got the info for LR Kale and Khalifla. Then there's also a base form Khalifla and a base form Kale. Now, this is really, really a good idea here. Uh, you know, some of these characters like, uh, Kabe, Kale, Khalifla, Gogeta, like a lot of these newer Dragon Ball Super characters, you know, they have many different forms. And, like, some of these forms, like, they easily could drop, like, you know, a base form Kale, like this, and make these cards really, really good, which they did. Now, the one thing I do want to mention, right? So, Team Dokkan are mentioned that LR, Kale, and Khalifa are a summonable LR, right? Uh, but I'm looking at this Khalifa and Kale, and these are waifu cards. You can tell by the background that they are waifu cards, and they're also uh, ridiculous cards. They're very good, which, you know, is what a lot of the waifu cards always end up being. Now, what I'm sitting here that has me very, very interested uh, is the fact that usually they drop these cards on a waifu banner. So I'm wondering what this LR banner is going to look like. Is it going to be a normal LR banner like this? Or is it going to be a, a waifu banner with LR Kill and Khalifa on it, like unfeatured or something? That wouldn't be the worst ever. It still would be, it'd be annoying to pull LR Kale and Khalifa, but it's still, it, like, you know, there'd be, what, I don't know, 50 SSRs instead of 150 or something like that. So, I don't know. I, it, it's just, you, like, they, these three units might not even be on the same banner, is my point. Like, LR Kale and Khalifa could be on their legendary summon banner, and then Khalifa and Kale could be on a different waifu banner. I, I think that's possible. I hope they don't do that because. I really want to rainbow the Kale and Khalifa as well as the LR Kale and Khalifa. They're all good. And again, you know, we have the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa, but this is, you know, a tech base form. You know, this is an SCR base form Kale. Like, you know, we could use these cards alongside the other versions of the characters. Just a nice buff for Universe 6, uh, which really needed the extra firepower. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. At what LR Kale and Khalifa do, as well as the, you know, uh, Tech Khalifa and the SCR Kale, uh, courtesy of the homie Goresh. So, here we have the translations uh, for LR Kale and Khalifa, and uh, this is certainly impressive. So, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa and Super Saiyan 2 Kale, the strongest in all universes. So, <laughs> they're joined forces, category 4 key... 130% to stats, or Super AGL 3 key and 100% to stats. So, <laughs> we head over to this Joint Forces category, right? And uh, there's a lot of firepower over here. Uh, LR Goten and Trunks, we have LR Goku and Rale, LR Goku and Frieza, LR Goku Black, uh, both of the LR Fusions, LR Metal Cooler, LR Goku, Trunks, and Pan... Like, you just look at this LR Great Saiyan 1 and 2, you have Broly and Paragus. Like, you want to talk about a ridiculous team. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm going to be honest, I, this is probably going to be one of the best teams in the game, even at 130% to, uh, to leader skill, right? Like, you know, you could run 
the fusions as a rotation, uh, LR Vegeta and LR Gogeta, they activate almost the entire Link set, plus they completely give themselves, like, you know, it, it's easy for them to super attack with the rainbow orbs, they have good defense, all of that. You know, you could rock LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 as a floater, as well as Broly and Paragus as a floater. Uh, and then on the second rotation, I don't know, you can run LR Kale and Khalifa. Like, you're going to need units that would work well with them. Let me take a look at what their links are real quick. We'll skip down there. So, Super Saiyan, Battlefield Divas, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. I mean, you could link them up with LR, Goku, and Frieza. Uh, they're only going to be sharing uh, Tournament of Power, so that might hurt Goku and Frieza a little bit. But, like, you know, the team... It, it's just so strong anyway. Like, I, I don't know. I, there's definitely going to be some shenanigans you can run. Oh, even Boda Magetta. Boda Magetta might be an interesting sort of partner for LR Kale and Khalifa because, you know, he's Warriors Junior 6. He's got Tournament Power. He's got Fierce Battle. So he's going to have a couple of links uh, along. So, oh, that's not even a. No, that is a CUR for him. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. For, for a second, I was like, wait, is that a CUR version? Yeah, it is. All right, so. Uh, this is great. Like, I didn't think Joint Forces would get a, a category leader this soon, but it did. So, uh, we'll have to see how that ends up being. Uh, looks like on their 12 key, they raise defense, the Shake Combat. And then the 18 key, Limit Break Blaster, is they also raise defense. Looks like that stacks as well. So, as the fight goes on, they're going to get better and better and better. Also, I'm uh, let me quickly jump ahead and see what categories they're on. Universal Survival Arc, Joint Forces, Universe 6, Pure Saint, Peppy Gals, Full Power. So, we there's a lot of different instances I'd love to test this unit out in Super Battle Road. Number one, we could try Joint Forces. Uh, we could take them into the Peppy Gals stage. I mean, that's just going to be, you know, I, I was already able to, like, uh, not just me. A lot of people have been able to no item that stage already with how ridiculous some of those Peppy Gals cards are. Now, we get an LR of this magnitude, it's going to be a joke. So, uh, Khalifa and Kale, they get 66% attack and defense, and they perform a guaranteed additional attack at the start of turn. So, that's solid. You know, you might see 66% as low, but let me see, what are their stats here? Uh, okay, so, if they're at 15,000 attack, that means they're going to be over 20,000 attack. Whoa, they have a ridiculous amount of HP. Uh, I think they're 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 probably in the top five units in all of Dokkan with the most health. Uh, and their defense is going to be almost 15,000 as well. And their attack is going to be over 20,000. So, <laughs> here's the thing. That 66% attack and defense might be kind of low. But for a summonable LR, it'll be fine. Then they also get plus one key and a chance to avoid enemy attacks 6%. For every attack performed, max of 6 key. So, you know, 6 attacks will get them an extra 6 key. And then max of 66% chance to evade. So, they could do 11 attacks to get the extra chance to evade. Now, I'm going to say this right now. Uh, I really might go full additional for my Kale and Khalifa. Because here's the thing, right? I prioritize defense so much more. And, like, yeah, they're going to be hitting super hard, but, like, what's going to make them crazy is they're hitting hard, and then their defense is ridiculous. They're giving themselves keys, so it'll be easier to get that 18 key super. I, I don't know. I I'm really, really tempted uh, to actually go, like, 20 additional on them. To, you know, because it, it, it's not, like, perform a super attack and they do a, an additional or anything like that. It, it's just get an additional attack and they have a better chance to dodge. Like, we're talking EZA, Super Battle Road, all these difficult modes. Like, them doing a lot of damage is nice, but them dodging attacks, that's going to be even better. Uh, so, then they also get 10% attack for every Universe 6 Joint Forces or Pure Saiyan category ally on the team. So, that can get up to an extra 70%. So, they'll have, what, 136% attack? They're, they're absolutely insanity. Like, <laughs> yo, this is legitimately one of the best units in the game. <laughs> that's the title. Hey, that's the title. There we go. One of the best units in the game. <laughs> 
this is the best unit in the game, you know, something like that. Uh, and then they perform an additional super attack if there's a universal survival arc or pure Saiyan enemy present. Guess what? There's a lot of pure Saiyan enemies out there. So, Kale and Khalifla, you know, you could very well have, you know, their normal super attack. They're at first additional uh, from their passive. Uh, then you get the second additional from, you know, uh, universal survival arc or pure Saiyan enemy present. And then you can get a third additional attack from their potential system. So, <laughs> uh, yo, <laughs> they're pretty good. They're quite good. <laughs> and then they're on those category teams. So, like, yeah, Join Forces, Pure Saiyan, you know, Universal Survival Arc slash Universe 6, uh, they all just got a big-time buff. Like, this is a crazy unit, man. Th this is this is a wild, wild unit. I I'm very, like, I'm impressed. They, they really went all out with Kale and Khalifa to make them ridiculous. Uh, and then here's the thing. You know, these cards are, are not so bad themselves. This Tech Khalifa. So, this Khalifa, you know, it's based from Khalifa. Universe 6 and Peppy Gals category, 2 key and 80% HP attack and defense. Uh, her super attack is the Energy Blast. She does supreme damage and raises attack and defense. Looks like it stacks. She gets 60% attack and defense. And then she gets a chance to evade enemy attacks plus 6% for every Universe 6 slash Universal Survival Art category ally. So... That's good. So even on, like, the Peppy Gals team, you're going to want to make sure to have, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, Kale, Kefla, you know, sort of cards there. So it looks like she's able to get that up to, let's see, what, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36? She's able to get up to a 36% chance to dodge if you have a full Universe 6 slash Universe Travel Arc uh, category ally. Uh, but then, oh yeah, by the way. Guaranteed to dodge if there's a Universal Survival Arc slash Pure Saiyan category enemy. Uh, <laughs> so, here's the thing, right? You can put this Khalifa in easy A fights, and she's going to be insane. It doesn't matter if she's on the leader skill. Like, okay, so, I don't know, AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku? You just put this Khalifa on the team, it doesn't matter if she's going to dodge every single attack. Like, <laughs> so this Khalifa changes the game dramatically for, like, easy A's. So anyone out there having trouble with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku easy A, uh, I, I can't think of another Pure Saiyan one off the top of my head, but, like, you know, any Pure Saiyan easy A's, it doesn't matter if this Khalifa fits in the leader skill. She's not going to do any damage, but she can't be hit. Guaranteed to dodge enemy attacks. She's busted. That's that is busted. It doesn't matter if it's only against Universal Survival Arc or Pure Saiyan category enemy. But here's the thing: that's those are half of the enemies in the game, like Pure Saiyan. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to say that Khalifa's pretty good. So her links are Saiyan lineage, Saiyan warrior race, Battlefield Diva, Prodigies, Warriors Universe Six, and Turn of Power. Uh, wild unit. Uh, and then she's on Universal Survival Arc, Pure Saiyan, Universe 6, and Peppy Gals. Just very, very impressive. Very, very impressive. Uh, this Khalifa, again, she she's going to help out quite a bit uh, in EZA fights and stuff like that. Uh, so then we got this Kale right here. Uh, you know, SCR Kale. Uh, so she is uh, Pure Saiyan and Peppy Gal category key 2. HP attack and defense 80%. Uh, her super attack is the Resist Cannon, which does supreme damage and raises attack and defense. Then her passive Insecure Emotions is 60% attack and defense. Then she gets an extra 10% attack for every Universe 6 slash Universal Survival Saga category enemy. So, you know, that's up to an extra 70%. So, she'll be sitting at 130% attack. As an SSR is very good. And then, guaranteed to perform an additional super attack if there's a Universal Survival Arc slash Pure Saiyan category enemy. Same thing. Ridiculously good. I think Khalifa is better, but Khalifa is going to have a lot of tactical value in very, very difficult events. Like, you know, if there's a Pure Saiyan enemy there... Uh, Khalifa is going to be dip, diving, dodging, all that stuff. Uh, I'm thinking in the extreme stage, no, because it's Frieza first, then Universe 6, then you finish off with Goku Black and Zamasu. And I'm thinking about the super stage, uh, you fight, hmm, okay, so I, I don't know. Because I'm trying to think how useful this Kale and Khalifa could be on, like, Super Battle Road. 
And, like, you know, the Khalifa is definitely, like, big-time reliant on either a pure Saiyan category enemy or having, you know, the Universal Survival Art category enemy. I mean, in that last super stage, you do have, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Goku and Vegeta. The second one is the fighters from the Resurrection F movie, but they're not really uh, going to be able to help out too much. And then you got the first stage, which is the hybrid Saiyans, Goten and Trunks. So I, I don't know that, like, Khalifa and the Kale, they're not going to be dominating, like, a lot of these Super Battle Road stages. But, you know, the these units are just very, very impressive. I mean, a as you guys can see, this LR is going to be one of the best in the game. I'm going to think long and hard, but I'm probably going to give them 20 additional uh, just to get that extra dodge chance. A uh, very, very impressive unit. So, thanks guys for watching. Uh, let me know how excited y'all are to see, you know, Kale, Khalifa finally get their LR, finally have a really, really broken card. And then we got a base form Khalifa and Kale that are going to be very useful. So, thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.